San Beda, who gets it. Black shirts get it first. Archie David over to Chris Robles. And you can see right here no, that uh, Coach Galoy is uh, kind of experimenting with uh, other uh, his other players. He's got a big lineup uh, starting for this uh, for this ball game, Andre. Well, they have to indeed put up a big lineup against this very tall and huge San Beda Red Lions. Actually, huge is even an understatement with Sam Egwe around. For the white shirts, Armida now looking for some movement. Menor will try to go inside but kicks it back out. Armida drives. Tried to dish at the last moment to Ekwe, but no. Turnover number one for the Red Lions. The possession will go back to St. Benilde, Allen. So, you know, just like what I said, they've really got to lessen uh, the, the impact of uh, the Sam Ekwe game. But uh, Sam Ekwe is just uh, doing his thing. Not really in offense, but on the defensive side. Pero itong si uh, Yusef Jamal will, uh, will really have to provide the, the offensive spam para dito kay Coach Frankie Lim. I missed that time for Benil on the run now. Are the red lines to fall away? We usually see from Al Jamal, but that, that doesn't drop. Monte Castro now manning the point. A rare start for Angelo Monte Castro, a rookie for the St. Benil Blazers. Yeah, he's kind of tall for a point guard. I think he stands about 5'11 to 6' uh, flat. So, magandang training to para dito kay uh, Monte uh, Castro. But his shooting will actually be challenged today. As you can see, Pong Espinbal just letting it, letting in Monte Castro shoot from the outside. So, titignan ko talagang this guy can shoot. As this guy, Sam Ekwe, trying to prove that he can shoot, but misses everything that time. All board for Sam Ekwe, off and running down the black shirts. But Monte Castro throws it away. In the meantime, let's go over the first report of this game, courtesy of Pia Bourne for the San Beda Red Lions. Pia. Yes, Andre, now the Red Lions may be facing the lowest ranked teams, but by no means should they take this game lightly. In fact, Coach Frankie wants to see them play hard as ever, and more importantly, play with consistency. I want that winning attitude because that's what will take us to the semis and the finals. Apart from that, Coach emphasized once again the importance of dominating the boards. In fact, they've been doing drills and boxing out all week. Coach Frankie also wants to see them pour on the pressure right from the very start and for the boys to play with a lot of pride. Andre, back to you. Thank you very much, Pia. That was your first report off this game. Brought to us by Samsung. With Samsung, it's not that hard to imagine. Augie Minor draws first blood for the Red Lions. Two to nothing. But Chris Robles drives inside. We are knotted. Have two, seven minutes and 35 seconds to play here in the first. I know we did talk about Chris Robles, but this guy is a uh, PBL veteran. Also a, play, a player of, uh, of Coach Galoy. So, alam ni Coach Galoy kung ano ang pwede maging contribution nito si Chris Robles. That's true, especially starting with a rookie, this Angelo Monte Castro. Although Chris Robles is indeed a point guard, but he will just be guiding the rookie Monte Castro. As Robles with the fake, the jumper is good. So he's on two here in the first first part of the game. He's got that shot. So alam na alam talaga ng uh, San Beda that they've got to close out on this young man. Escobal now using those pick by Al Jamal, the jumper by Escobal. No, a battle for the letter. Ekwe tried to save it. There is Menor. They'll recycle their offense. Armida wide open for the corner. Three ball. Loose ball goes to Tabatu. Big man bring it down. Over to the rookie Monte Castro. Yes! So that's one thing that Monte Castro can do. He can uh, slash in and finish the break very well. So it's a very good side of Coach uh, Caloy bringing in a taller guard to match up well against a big guard like Escobal as Menor takes the jumper. Al Jamal tried to put it back in. There will be a foul inside. And you know that's where the advantage of San Beda is. Yung uh, mga jumpers nitong si Menor. Alam na alam nitong si Al Jamal yung timing kung kailan sila papasok. Because uh, they scouted and they've been playing together. Uh, for uh, at least uh, the past three years. Kaya alam na alam nila kung uh, kailan titira ito si, uh, si Menor, si, kailan titira si Escobal, at tumutulong sila sa ribando. Al Jamal rushes the shot, but an offensive board for Ogi Menor. Now Escobal will set their offense once again. Oh, Escobal calling the shots for the white shirts. Nice lob inside to the big man, Sam Ekwe, on the board. 7-4 to four is the score. St. Benil up by three, under six minutes to play. Let's have the Samsung timeout with Samsung. It's not that hard to imagine. We'll be right back.
Welcome back here at the arena in San Juan City for the continuation of the 83rd season of the NCAA. And our featured matchup for today, of course, the big man from San Beda, 6'8", rookie MVP last year, Sam Ekwe against Chris Kabatu, the returning Chris Kabatu against Sam Ekwe, our featured matchup for today. Alan, well, these two men will probably be pounding it inside man, man to man. Alam, talaga may kita natin tong matchup na to. Chris Kabatu had a great first game but was not able to to maintain that kind of uh, scoring and rebounding. While on the other hand, almost 15 points and 18 rebounds para dito kay Sam Ekwe. So talagang uh, kailang i-double time ito si Chris Kabato yung kanyang efforts kung gusto niyang man-neutralize ng konti ito si Sam Ekwe dito sa laro na to. Good point, Alan. In the meantime, it's 9-4, to 5-point lead in favor of St. Benil after that robless basket. Now Ekwe, 11 to shoot. Wow, fortunately for him, he was able to fish a foul at the last second with Kabato and Kabato in dismay. In the meantime, let's go over to Bea Tienza. First report for CSB. Bea? Well, the Blazers are just trying to cope up with a series of unfortunate events that have come their way. Coach Kaloy did mention that the difficulty lies in motivating his players, so he just simply said that we just have to look forward and try our best but if ever magandang exit natin. For today, the game plan is simple. Create a slow-tempo ball game since we lost our top scorers, execute our offense, limit the scoring output of Al Jamal Ekwe and Escobar, and also limit their offensive rebounds. Now, speaking of top scorers, Jeff Morial, who had a second ACL injury this season, just came out of surgery this morning. Good luck, Jeff, and everyone is praying for your speedy recovery. Andre? Thank you very much, Bear. That was your Samsung courtside update with Samsung. It's not that hard to imagine. Things are looking good so far for the Blazers. Kabatu puts them up now by 6, 11 to 5. A turnover again for St. Daniel. I mean, for some better now on the run. Back the other way, San Beda, but there will be a traveling infraction called on Menor. Good point. Going back to that report by uh, Bea Alan. Tama yung sabi ni, uh, ni Coach, uh, Coach Kaloy na dapat control the pace, slow down the game because we know that if you run the ball, that is what favors San Beda. San Beda just loves to run it down. Alam mo, ang uh, kailangan lang talagang gawin dito ng, uh, ng St. Benil, tama yan, ano, yung control, uh, control tempo. They've got to stay in the game at least up to the last three minutes of this game. Let's talk about uh, yung parang uh, when they held on to that game against, against Letran. They had a big chance of winning that ball game, but they missed on that oppor opportunity before, before uh, the overtime, if you remember that game. So ganun lang kailangan laruin talaga nitong, uh, nitong College of St. Benil because San Beda's manpower is just so tremendous. That's true. Under five minutes to play here in the first quarter. Four minutes and 40 seconds to be exact. 11 to 5 still in favor of the Black Shirts. Menor being hounded by Ura. Ura will be called for a second personal foul. They've got to make their adjustments. You know, the referees are calling it very strict on that hand check. So after nakakilos na kailangan, you've got to move back and uh, not use your hands. Sam Ekwe, the follower, uses that. Banker is good. Ekwe now has five to lead the Red Lions. You know, developed San Beda, Sam Ekwe for San Beda this year, you know, the bank shot. And he has really perfected that shot, playing for the PBL, and uh, I don't see uh, Sam Ekwe just knows the timing of, of the game. He knows when to run, get the rebound. And how to use his height, basically. Another turnover for the Red Lions. Monte Castro used the reverse, but there is Ura to put it back. So good, good defense being employed right here. It's the first quarter. Little College of St. Benilde.